Hmm, 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 it's me, the nuclear faller king, just out for a pleasant stroll, not looking to harm anybody. Wait, what's that sound? Oh no, it can't be. Bees! Ah! That's right, it's finally time for the bees to get their revenge. In this video, we're going to see if 120 swarmers can take down the nuclear fallen king once and for all. What's up guys, Harrison here with two cats, and believe it or not, this is one of the most requested videos for this series. Alright, let's give you a little test and see if you can remember when I used 120 swarmers against the regular fallen king, did we win? If you said yes, then you're right. We did that challenge on Moonbase and it was pretty easy. For those of you that don't know, the Swarmer is Tower Defense Simulator's secret OP tower. This is because of its special B-Bomb ability that has stacking power. This means that you can hit an enemy with a B-Bomb from one Swarmer, and then turn around and hit that same enemy with another B-Bomb from another Swarmer, and it'll take full damage from both. And because the B-Bomb spreads and affects all the zombies around the one you're targeting, this tower has the ability to do massive damage to hordes. It's so powerful that I even use it to replace the ranger and the commander in a solo fallen video so knowing all of this i'm gonna guess we get the epic victory royale in this game of course we might run into a couple of problems along the way such as the amalgamation beast being a pain in the butt because it can self-heal but i think that as long as each of us has a few swarmers at max level they should be able to do enough damage to overcome that ability we might also have a problem with the circuits but only because they move so fast i don't think their actual health will be a problem since they only have 2500 which is relatively weak compared to the damage the Swarmer can do. And another obvious problem that comes along with using only Swarmers is that the tower does not have hidden detection. Counteract this by keeping some minigunners at the end of the path to make sure we can at least get to the final wave without dying to shadow bosses. And once we get to the final wave, of course there's the problem of the massive stun abuse that the ground towers have to endure from the Toxic Fallen King. In fact, the Accelerator is the only ground tower we've managed to do this challenge with and win. Of course, the supports we use here are the DJ, Commando, Freezer, and Electroshocker. Hopefully the DJ can give the Swarmers enough range that they can attack the Nuclear Fallen King outside the range of his stuns. If that happens, then we have a pretty good shot at winning. But if all the Swarmers that are able to attack him get stunned, that won't be good. The Commander's gonna give a boost to the Swarmer's regular attack, but he can't do anything to boost the B-Bomb ability. And of course, the Electroshocker and Freezer are gonna do what they do best. Delay. Now I'm gonna give a shout out to my beautiful teammates for this game. Below it all, Comfy Baby, Kipism, LOL1234 Four, five, six, sup, Phoenix D1, RXZ PXL, and Trail Beast 390. One final note about this game, because the Swarmers are so weak against the circuits, we're going to use all the towers that we have until we actually get to the final wave. This means you're going to see some Rangers out there, but of course when we get to wave 40, we're going to sell every tower except for the Swarmers so that we can at least go 1v1 against the Nuclear Fallen King. Now you can go ahead and sit back, relax, and grab a B, and I'm going to take a quick nap, and I'll meet you right back here at the end.
Uh, that just happened. Man, as soon as I sold my rangers, we got overwhelmed. The swarmer is absolute trash against the circuits. Come on! It was so powerful against every other enemy, though. I thought we might win. After playing this game, I can say that without a doubt, the Swarmer is the best early game tower for polluted wasteland. It's cheap to place, it's cheap to upgrade, and it can take out everything but the circuits and the shadow bosses. So just don't use it late game. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button with your forehead, hit that subscribe button with your big toe, and turn on notifications however you can so you don't miss any of my amazing upcoming content. And while you're at it, go ahead and join my growing Discord community. You can do that at discord.gg slash just Harrison things. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care, be safe, and never forget what I always say. Peace.